everybody, it's Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. How you all doing? I'm doing real good. I am so happy to be on camera. I told you all, I'll be back on camera. Okay, today I want to jump right in and talk about how to not doubt yourself. You can't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. This channel, Dreams Are Reality, is all about living your dreams here you can learn how to buy a house, how to start your own business, how to go back to school, how to find that love again. Most importantly, how to improve how you think, improve your self-esteem, improve your confidence, just how to have a better life. That's why I created this channel, because I truly believe dreams are a reality. I used to be depressed and anxious and felt like, woe is me. And now I live a better life. I'm here to help you do the same. How to not doubt yourself? First of all, you got to get to that root of the problem. Why are you doubting yourself? Sometimes it is from childhood trauma. You know, it's one thing about it. No matter how old we are, we still hear the words that were told to us from childhood. And I'll show you how this is true. My dear friend, God Auntie, is 95 years old, Miss Laura. To this day, me and her, we get on the phone and she tells me about things that happened in her childhood. Now, this is over 90 something years ago and it still is vivid. So things you were told maybe, and I hate to hear that people are told these things. You're not going to amount to anything. You'll end up like, you know, your brother, your sister, or you'll never get off this block or there's a lot of derogatory things that are told to people by teachers, by their parents, by relatives, by friends, and it sticks in their mind. You know, maybe somebody is very, they have a very dark complexion. They've been talked about a ridicule. If they're a little bit, you know, chubby or thicker, they've been called, you know, fat all their life. If they're real thin, they call skinny. And I can go on and on where people are made fun of. That sticks with people. Some people stutter. Some people have a lisp. And this makes them scared to get in front of people. But whatever was taught to you as a child from whoever, and it's derogatory, you got to know that you are above that. I remember growing up, I was so thin. And the guys would just say, uh, you know, growing up in the African American community, they would be like, Did you come from Ethiopia? Are you from Africa? You know, just talk about me because I was so thin. It's by God's grace that as I went to high school, I started, you know, to feel better about myself. It's kind of strange, though. Even when they would call me skinny, I still thought I was a good looking, you know, young girl. I was like, well, you know, I tapped into the things I knew I had. My mom always kept me and my sister. She kept our hair together. We always had nice, clean clothes. And she took good care of us, her and my dad. And so I leaned into that. My parents took us on family trips. I leaned into the love I was given, the good things I was shown. Um, it's a wonder I didn't have low self-esteem the way those guys talked about me. And some girls, you so skinny. Even when I began working as an 18, 19 year old, it would be non-black people. But they'd be like, you're so skinny. And they were like, I'm jealous. I'm so jealous because being skinny was in, you know, for models and stuff like that. I don't like to use the word skinny. I don't call people that. I may say thinner, but skinny is derogatory. It's equivalent of fat. You know, I don't use that word either and call somebody. I don't talk about nobody. I'm not talking about nobody's size because it's sensitive and it doesn't matter about gender. Anybody that's overweight, look, we are sensitive because I'm, look, I'm now I'm in the overweight category. <laughs> And I still love how I look, but I know I can lose some weight. You know, I always keep it real with everybody. But, you know, you have to embrace your body. I had to embrace that size three and four and I have to embrace this 10 and 12. And I'm not going to tell you what size jeans I bought today. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you always have the ability to gain carefully and you have the ability to lose. You have to do that work to, to get it off. But whatever is causing you that doubt, you have to figure out what it is. It could very well be anxiety. And one thing about anxiety, it will cause ruminating thoughts, which means your thoughts will go on and on to the break of dawn. And a lot of times those thoughts are on automatic. Unfortunately, with those 
anxiety provoking thoughts, they will not be good. I'm not going to have anxiety thoughts of, oh, I'm so beautiful. Oh, I know I can get that part into play. I know my recipe is going to come out good. Unfortunately, anxiety thoughts sound more like this. Now, why am I going to go on this date? This guy, he is not going to like me. Well, you know, I'm not good enough for this job. I shouldn't even do the interview. I hate interviewing. I never do good on interviews. It goes on and on. I'm not enough. I'm not pretty enough. My mother said, you know, there we go. There we go. Anxiety. So when we have anxiety, we have to get that support for it. Cognitive behavior therapy truly helps anxiety. Also meditation, also yoga, also journaling. And there's so many things you can do to help with your anxiety. Lavender oil on the wrist, a little bit in the chest area, behind the ears, peppermint oil, the same way I just described that. Um, using an, uh, what do they call? Oh my God, the anxiety blanket. Oh, the weighted blanket. I was going to say heavy blanket. <laughs> weighted blanket. Um, there's just so many things you can do. If you are depressed, that's another reason why you might doubt yourself. When you are depressed, your thoughts are not going to be thoughts of render, thoughts of high self-esteem, thoughts of confidence. They're going to be the opposite. Nobody cares. I'm not good enough. I knew I shouldn't have tried for that job. I'm not going back to school. I'm not smart enough. Again, with depression, you need support. That is a heavy one. Get the support through therapy. They have workbooks on Amazon. They have the most, I'm telling you, the most best videos on YouTube. I call it YouTube University because anything you need to learn about or you need support in, it is here. Go to www.psychologytoday.com if you have severe anxiety, severe depression, or need help, you know, with your mental health. By the way, I am a licensed social worker. I am a therapist and a counselor. By day, I counsel Young girls, sixth, seventh, and eighth graders, nighttime weekends, I counsel, I do therapy for adults, couples, and also some adolescents. So I know all about it. That's my field. I too have a therapist. All righty. Um, I'm trying to do this, trying to be cute today. Got to be cute sometimes. And I'm not wearing my reader. So God bless us because I don't even know if I can read what I wrote. Show yourself self love. Show yourself compassion. And this is one of the things that will help you when you have doubt. This all goes back to that self-care. When you take care of your skin, you take care of your nails, you take care of your mind, you get you a massage, curl up with a good book, get you a nice cup of tea or coffee, things that make you smile, go for a brisk walk. Show yourself self-love. That will increase your compassion for yourself. That will increase your belief in yourself. If you don't take care of yourself, you're not going to believe in yourself because you're not going to feel good about yourself. That's one thing about people that are meticulous about their health, their skin, their teeth. You know, these people believe in themselves and they know, well, you, you will hope they do. That's not always true. But, you know, taking care of yourself and looking good, it helps you to feel good and better about yourself. All right, so we got tip number one, find out the root to the problem, why you are lacking that confidence, why you doubt yourself. Tip number two, show yourself compassion and love. Be easy, Adele said, be easy on me, baby. Be easy on yourself and show yourself some love. Let's, let's keep going. Tip number three, remember the times. I refer to songs I love a singer, by the way. Remember the times. Michael Jackson sang about that. Remember those times when you succeeded? Go back there and that would give you some strength. There's been some times for me uh, when I really just knocked it out the park. I would, I would have to say it's times like when I went and took guitar lessons. I, I'm at my best when I do things like this. When I went to the studio several times to lay down songs. When I got on, um, I did an audition for a stage presentation for several women that survived cancer here in the Chicagoland area. It was about 11 or 12 of us that spoke. Um, we had Channel 7 News there. It was a big it was a big deal to me, and that was a good time. Going back to school, you know, uh, paying off my debt for my bachelor's. Not all of it, though, but to get to the master's 
degree, signing up and actually jumping in that classroom with a bunch of 26 years old, six year olds as a 44 year old woman, uh, 45 year old woman, I believe I was in 2016, 45 year old woman. No, I started 2015, so I was 44, going on very shy of 45. And my classmates were 26 years old. And I'm sitting there as an older student, me and a few more older students. And it felt good. It felt right. I knew I was right where I um, was supposed to be. And I graduated in 2018. So you all hear me now. I do these videos to help you as well as to help me. If this 44-year-old um, woman could go back to school, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not that no more. But if that girl could go back to school and get that master's degree, I know you all can get that GED. I know that you can get your bachelor's. I know you can get your master's. I know you can get your doctorate. I know you can send their resume out for that higher paying job. I know you can go to um, the SBA website and start your small business. I know that you can um, get started with seeing what it takes to get that home. I know you can get back out there and date and start again. I know you can raise your confidence and stop doubting yourself. I did it. I still have to do it. And don't think you are alone. You are not the only one that lacks confidence. Other people that do these great things that are actors, that are actresses, that are singers, songwriters, rappers, dancers, tennis players, athletes of all kinds, business owners, don't think they don't doubt themselves. We all have doubts. Trust and believe. What my um, coworker just said, my new coworker, she was like, that first week, I was like, I made a mistake. I don't think I'm going to think I'm going to quit this job. And I told her, I said, guess what? I started during COVID and everything was going so fast, but we were not in person. I told her, I felt like I made an error too, taking the job. I said, but after a few weeks, after a few months, definitely after we got back in person, it got better. So don't think you're the only one that doubt. A lot of people would tell you I was scared. I just jumped up and did it but I wasn't sure. I couldn't believe I won the award. You are not the only one that doubts. So that's another one of my tips. I'm just going to throw it on tip number four. I kind of messed up the order. <laughs> tip number four, don't think you're the only one. We all have those doubts. Tip number five, if you think too long, you're going to think wrong. Study long, study wrong. If you see something that says, come on, audition for this play. Go do it. Don't think about it because you're going to talk yourself out of it. If you think you want to go back to school, go and find out the information about it. Don't say, well, I'll just wait. Maybe. Hmm. Eh. The more you him and ha, you him and ha yourself right out of that situation. If you want to buy a home, my credit not good. I don't have the money. Go look into it. Now, you know, in 16 months, this is what you need to do. 18 months. This is what I need to do. When I went back to school, it was an instant. I looked into it in 2014 and I went and registered August 2015. So it shows you it was a year, it was a year difference. I do that with all most stuff I do. I buy a car. I might study it for a few months before I go make the purchase. I want to buy a home. I'm going to take my time and really do my due diligence. So and staying with careers and stuff. So it's okay to look now. I like to look now. That way I know where I'm going. How do you know where you're going if you don't know what it takes to get there? But when you get these opportunities, some opportunities are once in a lifetime. And when they come, jump on it. Study long, study wrong. You're going to talk yourself right out of it. That is tip number five. One, two, I think that's six. Tip number seven. Surround yourself with good people because if you surround yourself with negativity, it's going to put you out of the game. You want people that love you, that support you. And I'm not saying that people that love you, can't get my words out, people that love you, they may not support your dream. They may love you, but remember this, when you go and ask for advice about your relationship, about your career, Many people will base it on their limited knowledge, limited experience. 
If they are a nine to five blue collar, blue, blah, blah, I don't care, blue, white, that doesn't matter. But if they don't have a vision of artistry, they don't have a vision of, you know, making a cookbook. They don't have a vision of painting a picture. They don't have a vision of the fine arts of being a makeup artist, being a costume maker. They don't have a vision of being a singer, a songwriter. They may talk, talk you out of it. That's why me personally, some of my dreams, I don't even tell people. I don't need approval. They're not gonna, going to fund it. I'll just tell them when it's created. You know, everything no needs to be talked about, including your relationships. I don't need some 1992 advice on what's going on in 2024. I'm not saying love has changed. Love is love, baby. And I'm, I'm going to always stand on and believe in it until I leave this earth. But things have been moving different in the dating arena. So you don't need a whole lot of advice about it because it is what it is, especially if you're 35 and up. It is what it is. But you stay true to who you are. Don't go ask, which is what they say, don't ask my neighbor. Don't go ask it, everybody. Stay true to yourself. You know, true love finds true love. Can't change the game, but people are into themselves. Things are different. Things are different. But the essence of it stays the same. And I don't need a whole bunch of opinions about how to date, not as a mature woman. So um, be surrounded by people that's going to give you good advice. Um, or you don't even need to advice. But more or less, I'm really talking about support, to be honest. Birds of a feather flock together. If you would negativity, it's going to cramp your style. If you like me, take your time journaling. Take your time meditating. You know, take your time really doing that self-care and then I go jump into a crowd with a bunch of negativity. Kendrick Lamar said, you know what? <laughs> don't, don't mess up my vibe. You're messing up my vibe. And so get with a tribe that does not mess up your vibe. You want to be with people that are positive and do the work on themselves. Their work might not look like your work, but they on a higher plane. They on a higher platform. Their mind is transformed. Because some people, they can't see the forest for the trees. They have limited belief. And when you tell them the stuff you're working on, they're going to be looking crazy. And if somebody ever say, well, how are you going to do that? I'm out. It's like certain people I don't even like stick around or try to talk to because I can't do negativity. I work too hard on myself. I've been through too much. I had to fight to live twice. Um, I can't. You know, I can't. But more importantly, I ain't. And you do the same. You can love people from afar. They can still be your family members. You still love them. But your dreams, you keep under lock and key. You don't need nobody instigating your doubts if you already have them. You need people that's going to say, you can do it, girl. You got this, brother. You know, um, I always knew you was going to make it. What can I do to support you? You need need people that are your biggest cheerleader. That's one thing I can say about my ex-boyfriend. I'm in the studio. He was sitting right there with me. When I graduated, he was there with a bouquet of flowers. Same with my sisters. They always rally around me and support me and my grown niece and my dear friends. They support me. Hey, I'm crossing the stage. They're there. My graduation party, they're there. You know, uh, and that's what you need. The same OGs in your life. I'm not saying some of those people are still with me right now. Some of them are, you know, everybody had their own season. Some people are trying to take care of themselves right now. Check out my short video on giving out grace and space, baby. Sometimes we got to give people grace, but you got to give them that space that they need to take care of themselves. And it's disappointing. You get mad, but we really can't because you don't know the depths of someone's soul. You don't know what they're going through. I did it before you all. I was down and out and I totally, my personality totally changed because I was so depressed and so stressed. So we got to give grace, but give space too now. You don't have to chase people down the street. You feel me? Alrighty now. I hope those different tips I gave you help um, with the self-doubt. And you gotta always remember to believe in yourself. When you feel you don't, solicit that support I was talking about with the WWW Psychology Today. Or sometimes it could be an older relative, a good friend, somebody you really trust. You don't need a whole lot of people, just a good person to kind of pump you up and push you through, or even a life coach or a mentor. All right. What you all think about what I said? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Isley Brothers wouldn't like that or the late Ali. Somebody checked me, y'all. I was like, 
if you such a fan, why you don't know how to say her name? I'm like, ooh, y'all some, ooh, these people on, on YouTube and this internet, y'all need to get a life. Y'all be so petty and negative. I just laugh and block and remove, baby, block and remove. All righty, you all. God bless you all. God keep you all. All is well. Everything is working out for your highest good. All is well. I know everything working out for my highest good. Peace. Bye.